A couple of years back when we got Bella, I had no idea about raising a Shih Tzu puppy. We were constantly realizing that we had missed a few necessary supplies. So to help you better be prepared, I will list down some of the most important things you need for your Shih Tzu puppy. Beginning with the most essential supplies, the biggest one is puppy food. Firstly, call the breeder or the shelter beforehand and ask which puppy food they had been feeding your pup and buy a small package of that exact same food. Breeders often feed low quality puppy food to cut down the cost. So I always recommend getting high quality puppy food and slowly transitioning from the old to the new food over a month. I will list down the top three puppy food choices for Shih Tzus in the description. Also, you will need some good quality treats to give your pet when training them. Number two, food and water bowls. Along with their food comes what it needs to be served in. Pick good utilitarian food and drinking bowls. Now, there are bowls made of various materials, but stainless steel bowls are the better option as they are easy to clean and highly durable. And one more thing, select a bowl with a rubber coating on the bottom. It will stop it from sliding away when your pup is eating. Number three, chews and toys. When teething, Shih Tzus need to chew on everything they can put or grab with their small mouths. The best is to give them dog toys that are hard, tough, and made from rubber. Some other options could be Kongs and other interactive toys, hard bones, hard bully sticks, antlers, and balls. However, make sure the toys are of good quality or else your Shih Tzu may break it and swallow the pieces. Number four, crates and safety gates. Crates serve as a small dog house for your Shih Tzu, keeping them safe when they don't have time to look after them. They should be big enough for your pup to comfortably sit, stand, and turn around. Safety gates prevent access to certain parts of the house, such as the kitchen, staircase, and garage. Number five, soft, comfy bed. After food and play comes bedtime. A young puppy typically sleeps 18 hours a day. A cozy and nested bed will provide warmth and comfort and make your pup feel more secure. And you can even place it inside the crate and create a happy space for your pup. Number six, Shih Tzu clothing. Walking a Shih Tzu in cold areas and areas where it rains will mess up their gorgeous coats. The way out is investing in raincoats, silicone dog boots, rubber boots, and a dog safety vest. There are also doggy sweaters and coats for the colder areas. You can also opt for doggy cotton tees and pajamas. Number seven, puppy pee pads. Puppy pee pads are ideal for pet parents who stay in an apartment or cannot take their pooch out as many times to answer their pet's nature calls. Number eight, cleaning supplies. Your puppy will pee and poop anywhere in the house until you house train them. So make sure you are well stocked on poop bags, odor remover spray, poop scooper, and lawn cleanup tools. Number nine, harness, collar, and leash. Once your puppy has completed all their vaccines, you can finally introduce the outside world to them. So you will need to get a harness and a leash for your pup's safety. Apart from that, you will also need a collar to carry their dog tag and ID. Number 10, grooming supplies. Shih Tzus are high maintenance. They need regular grooming to maintain their royalness. But taking them to a groomer for every little thing can dig a hole in your pocket pretty quickly. The best way is to get all the necessary grooming accessories and do it yourself. You will need a grooming brush, good quality shampoo and conditioner, a canine nail cutter, and a canine toothbrush and toothpaste. Number 11, anti-fleas and ticks accessories. Along with grooming comes yet another important regime. This is for keeping fleas and ticks away. There are anti-tick and anti-flea sprays, shampoos, powders, tick collars, and repellents available to keep away those pesky creatures. Good to protect your Shih Tzu from bites, itches, and tick-borne illnesses. Number 12, pet carry options. You may want to invest in pet sling bags or a pet stroller. This isn't a necessity as such, but something I would highly recommend. Pet sling bags are ideal to carry small breeds like Shih Tzus outside. Alternatively, pet strollers for your pup are a great option when you have a very active outdoorsy lifestyle 
or for occasions that require a lot of walking. There is so much to choose from for your pet Shih Tzu. It won't be wrong to say that one can spoil them as much as kids. If this video was helpful, please drop us a like and subscribe to our channel for more Shih Tzu care videos. See ya!